everyone so welcome back to my channel this is story time with ankita and in today's video we are going to read a very beautiful children's story because it's been a long time we didn't read anything childish so we are going to do that but before going to read you have to subscribe me because you watch my video like my video but why don't you subscribe come on click the red button it's completely free and subscribe and be a member of my youtube family and another thing to tell you i just have got a book which is that night i just recently bought it and when i would finish reading this story i will definitely review this one so stay tuned and let's read the story the story which i am going to read is from this book tales from a dersen and the story is the little match girl so let's read it the little match girl it was late on new year's eve and a very cold night snow had been fallen all day and still the flakes were coming down the roofs were all covered with the branches of the trees hung down heavy with snow outside in the empty streets a poor little match girl was wandering sadly about no one had brought a single box of matches during the whole long day and she was very tired She had lost her torn slippers and her clothes were thin and ragged. At last she found a dry spot where she curled up and tried to keep warm. Lights were shining from many windows and she could smell delicious food. Oh, if she only dared to light just one match at last she did as she watched the bright frame she imagined that she saw in it a stove with shining brush handles and a hot breezing fire she tried to move closer but puff the flame went out she stuck another match This time when she breezed up she saw a table spread with wonderful foods there was a decorated cake plump ripe and juicy fruit and a beautifully roasted and stuffed turkey all ready to be served she could almost taste the lovely food but as she reached forward puff the flame went out she lit a third match this time she saw the biggest and loveliest christmas tree she had ever seen it was decorated with many shining bright balls chains of tinsel and gold wreaths candles flickered on the branches and made dancing shadows on the walls and the little girl moved towards the tree but again puff the flame went out look at the beautiful christmas tree she looked up to where the candles had been and now there was a bright sphere of light across the sky someone is dying thought the little girl for her grandmother had told her that when a star falls a soul is going to heaven she stuck one more precious match against the wall the flame grew very large in the circle of light before her her she saw her grandmother how gentle and happy she looked grandmother she called have you come to take me with you or will you disappear when the light goes out like the warm stove the delicious food and the beautiful christmas tree please don't disappear cried the little match girl 
She quickly lit another match, then another and another. She was so afraid that if the match went out, her grandmother would no longer stay with her, but would disappear at once like the stove, the good food and the beautiful Christmas tree. The light from the many matches made the night seem as bright as day. Her grandmother looked so peaceful, so gentle and kind. She came closer to the little girl just as the last match splattered out. She reached towards her grandchild and touched her softly. The grandmother lifted the little match girl into her arms. They held tightly to each other and then they began to soar up into the sky. They passed through the showers of twinkling snowflakes and they passed sparkling stars. Up and up they went far above the earth and now there is no more cold, no more hunger, no more pain, no more sadness. Oh, look how beautiful it is. In the morning, the townspeople found the little match girl hunted in a shattered corner by the wall of one of the big houses. She had frozen to death on the last night of the old year. Now she looked peaceful and there was a gentle smile on her face. The buried matches were scattered on the snow in front of her. Poor child, the people said. She must have tried to warm herself with her matches. How very sad. But none of the people knew what beautiful visions the little match girl had seen the night before. And they did not know that at last she had found peace with her beloved grandmother. Oh, look this innocent little match girl. I hope you liked today's story. And it was really sad and beloved story i really enjoy it please let me know in the comment section what are your reactions and um, definitely like and subscribe and definitely share if you have someone little or child in your family to share this video because this is for children and uh, i hope you enjoy today's video so thanks for watching bye bye